You know, grocers today are deploying multiple different strategies to overcome some of the challenges. We mentioned before micro-fulfillment, central fulfillment. Uh, there's some newer entries into what folks would call nano-fulfillment, so smaller footprints, lower cost solutions that maybe focus on order storage and buffering and sequencing, things like that. That's certainly on the e-commerce side of it. I think folks are also looking to handle goods to person replacements uh, with goods to robot or robotic pick cells. So that could be found in those micro fulfillment. They can also be found in this center fulfillment models. And if you go back to the distribution center and go back to the, the really hard challenge of each picking, you know, you'll need solutions for handling all of your eaches and inner packs and having robotic pick cells that are connected to uh, robotic auto shuttles, for example, to handle store fulfillment sortation are, are great examples. I think another strategy that's being looked at hard is a lot of these grocers have deployed traditional warehouse automation, you know, that have been around for 20, 25 years. And they found that during this pandemic, that they saw this spike in, in store replenishment, e-commerce orders, that those systems weren't scaling. They weren't agile enough to keep up with the demand. So customers are looking to deploy new strategies around AI robotics in order to have a modular, scalable, agile system that meets their needs for capacity today, but also allows for growth in that capacity in the future.